The San Diego Padres have made another signing this morning, signing DH utility man Matt Carpenter to a two-year contract, two years, $12 million with an option. Let's go ahead and talk about this. How's it going, everyone? My name's Fame Fire. Welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be discussing the new signing by AJ Preller. As I said, AJ Preller likes to make his moves in spurts, and here we are, three signings in 24 hours. This is very, very insane. We got a lot to break down regarding Matt Carpenter. I have a lot of strong feelings about this contract. And yeah, let's go ahead and hop right into this. Before we get any further, if you are yet to hit that like button, please do so. If you're yet to hit the subscribe button, what are you doing? I'm trying to be the first and the earliest and posting the most content regarding the San Diego Padres. So I highly recommend you hit that subscribe button. Now let's go ahead and talk about Matt Carpenter. Matt Carpenter came off of a year where he was on the most prove it deal you ever see. He was in the minor leagues. He believed in himself. And you know what? It paid off extreme dividends because he came up for that 47 game stretch, 15 home runs, above 1,000 OPS. He was insane. He looks like Barry Bonds. Now, is this feasible? Probably not feasible at that rate. Uh, he also broke his foot during that season last year. And that's a major injury, you know, that's that's something that's going to change your hitting ability. It's healed by now. He hit a little bit in the playoffs, not a lot. Um, yeah, so it's kind of just overall an interesting contract. It seems like they weren't able to bring Brandon Jury back because if they were willing to bring Brandon Jury back, I don't think they signed Matt Carpenter. A lot of people are thinking Matt Carpenter is going to be our bench piece. Guys, we wanted a lefty DH every single time we talked about it. We wanted a lefty DH. We wanted a lefty DH. Here's our lefty DH. You know, this is our guy right here, Matt Carpenter, age 37. We have him locked down until he is 38, 39, and maybe even 40 because we do have that option with him. Is he good? He's solid, man. He, he was able to fix his career, but yet again, he 2021, he played 130 games and had a 169 batting average. So if he reverts back to that Carpenter, it's not going to be good. It will not be good if he does that. But I'm confident he will redo himself and continue the career arc and resurgence he's been on. It's very, very good. You know, he looks good. He looked good in the Yankees uniform. And the most interesting thing, yes, he hit a lot of home runs because the Yankees short porch, but down the line at Petco, it is shorter than the Yankees short porch. Sure, you have that marine layer at night, so it'll be a little bit harder to put it out, but he's still got, you know, an extra four feet now, so let's see what he can do with it. You know, it would be amazing if he could hit 20, 30 home runs for us. I don't know if we can really account for that, but that's the dream. Let's go ahead and talk about his numbers real quick. So like I said, he only had 130 at-bats this year. Uh, he had 39 hits, 15 home runs, 37 RBIs, 305 batting average, 412 on base percentage with a 1.139 OPS. That's insane numbers. Of course, the years prior, not the greatest recently. He has not been the same. You know, he seems to resurge himself every once in a while. 2021, he hit 169. 2020, he hit 186. 2019, he hit 226. 2018, 257. But I believe in 2018 or 2019 or 2017, one of these years, he had an insane September. Really great September. And it seemed like his career was back, but it wasn't necessarily... The best thing about Matt Carpenter is he is a postseason performer. I will say that. I will give him credit where credit's due. And that's what the Padres need. We need postseason performance. We need veterans. So this is a really gritty signing. Would I rather have Brandon Jury? Of course I'd rather have Brandon Jury. Brandon Jury, in my opinion, is just better. He's younger. He's a better baseball player. But I'm more than fine with this. It's $6 million a year. This works out pretty well. We still have money to spend within the luxury tax threshold we are at. So we'll see if we'll go out and make a few more signings or, you know, make a couple trades, adding on, on a little bit of salary, which is very, very possible. Um, the more interesting thing that I want to discuss is because he played at Yankee Stadium. There's this website called Baseball Savion, and it'll tell me how many home runs he would have hit this year at Petco. With his Baseball Savion percentiles, it doesn't show full percentiles, of course, because he didn't play a full year. It says his max velocity is 36th. Um, his his uh, expected on base percentage and all those stats kind of went down throughout the end of his plate appearances. He kind of just had a hot 100 at bat streak, but that's very, very interesting to take into account because this is a weird signing right now. Expected home runs by ballpark, he would have hit one less at Petco. So that's not bad. He would have just only hit one less at Petco, and that accounts for everything. That accounts for the marine layer, that accounts for every other important thing. 
Very, very interesting stuff here regarding the brand new signing. Matt Carpenter, two years, 12 million with a player option. Tons of incentives, supposedly. So we're cool with that. Um, I'm kind of happy about it. Comment down below what you guys think about this signing. Are you excited for it? Do you think that AJ Preller is going to keep going? Do you think he's done? There's a lot of good questions to ask, but if you're yet to hit that subscribe button, please do so. Like this video up if you want to see more content like this, and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace. Yes. <laughs> 305 to the 619, baby. Let's go. Let's go, San it. Diego. <laughs> Linda, straight out, San Diego. Let's fucking go. <laughs> Woo! It's our fucking house. Hey. It's our house right here, baby. Let's I go. Love